What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we're finally showcasing my 100% fully Extreme Z Awakened physical full power Frieza and before we even get started I'm just gonna straight up say this right now he is gonna be ridiculously powerful so get ready for that now why don't we take a quick look at what this guy's all about before we jump into the gameplay so here are his stats ridiculously high stats by the way he's one of those characters that got boosted stats from the hidden potential system similar to str gogeta so as you can see 7560 hp 7000 attack and 6440 defense which is a big part of why this guy is such a monster now we're gonna jump right over to the leader skill he gives physical types keep plus three hp attack and defense plus 70 percent which is not a bad leader skill but there are definitely better leaders out there so if you have like Final Form Cooler or LR Trunks or any of those other physical leads, then you probably won't be running him as a physical leader anytime soon, which is okay. Now, as for his super attack, as you can see, of course, it's 15 out of 15, and he causes immense damage to the enemy and raises his defense by 30% for three turns. So after a couple turns of supering, he will get quite tanky. As far as his passive goes, he gets 120% attack when he performs a super, which is the same as before. I know a, little bit, a few people were a little bit disappointed by that, but he has such high stats that it doesn't really matter. He also gets plus three key and plus 30% defense as the first attacker of a turn, which will always do. So that will also add to his tankiness as well. So overall, he's gonna be a very hard hitter, but also a really good tank. And you guys will see that in just a second. As far as his hidden potential skills go, of course, we gave him 15 critical, 11 additional, nothing too crazy there. And for his links, he's got Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Nightmare, Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Over in a Flash, and Fierce Battle. The only issue with him, as far as I can see, is the fact that he's only in the Planet Namek Saga right now, which doesn't really have a great leader. So, you know, in the future when he gets like a 150% attack leader or 170% attack leader for a category, then he's gonna be like stupid. But for the moment, He's still going to be very powerful on a extreme physical team. As you can see, my extreme physical team is pretty beastly. We got the Rainbow, um, Omega Shenron. I rainbowed this guy too because I saw how good his Extreme Z Awakening was on JP. So can't wait for that to come to global. And overall, yeah, the team is good. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so he's in the second rotation. That's fine. We're just going to give these guys orbs. You guys will get to see what a Rainbow Omega Shenron can do if you haven't seen that yet. And of course, Rainbow Cooler Friend as well, which I just took out of rotation. So he's not going to come. <laughs> he's not going to be coming back in a second. But uh, by the way, if you guys are kind of curious or newer players, I guess, um, you're not really sure about how rotations work. I actually literally just made a video two days ago talking about exactly what rotations are, um, how to set rotations, all those things. It's a very basic concept, but definitely one of the most important things in Dokkan. So if you guys don't know how those work, then go check that out. Okay, so this is actually the perfect rotation right now for a couple reasons. We got the cooler and the final form or a full power Frieza linked together. They are the best linking partners. When they link together, they actually give each other 55% attack. 25% defense and plus two key with big bad bosses active, uh, which isn't active right now. But we also got this kid Boo, which gives who gives 50% attack and defense to its allies. So right now we have like at least an 80% attack buff on this Frieza. So we should see some nice numbers. That was a lot of talking. I'm sorry. I just wanted to explain to you guys what's going on in here. He should one shot the stage, no problem. First attack of the showcase. Let's see what happens. Here we go. 2.3 million and he's, oh my god <laughs> oh my god 4.4 million crit right off the bat guys and he didn't get a chance to do an additional right if he did an additional that could have been like another super of like two three million dude this guy is stupid you know so i i know i hype up units a lot you know i get very excited for these showcases even when i'm doing something like you know the free to play android 21 I get excited, I'm like, yo, this girl's really good. When she is really good, by the way, but this guy is legitimately a monster. Like, I didn't even have to use any items. Just the first attack in the first rotation I got, and you guys saw how much damage he just did there. He, he, 
ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And no type advantage too, right? If there was type advantage, it would have been even more. Just, yo. <laughs> okay, so this rotation is gonna be... You know what? This is good. I'm, I'm gonna put him here. Of course, I'm gonna link him up with my friend cooler because I feel like... I think the friend cooler is rainbowed. Mine has three dupes. Doesn't make a huge difference, but uh, whatever. And this is good because he's the first attacker in the turn, so he's gonna get the extra 30% on his defense. He already supered one, so he already got 30% defense there as well from the last super. And let's see how much he can tank. Let's, let's see how much he can tank. He should have a 60% um defense buff at the moment i expect double digit there you go 43 43 43 damage you can take this super for 53k which is not amazing but still still okay still okay and he just hit 2.1 million with no no support or anything like that just just good links right good links um i believe Let's see. So big bad bosses probably was active at that time. So yeah, we got the big bad bo big bad bosses link. Yo, try saying that multiple times in a row. It's it's not easy. <laughs> so it's like a tongue twister, man. But yeah, that was that was so that was solid. Uh, you guys might want to see. Hmm. You know what? If I was just like running stages and just running events to you know go through them as fast as possible, I actually would keep the Omega Shenron and the Sin Shenron together. But actually, I'm gonna throw this guy up here. Because I kind of want to see what he can do. I actually never tested him out ever since I rainbowed him. Mm. Actually, let's put him here and see if we can save him physical. Or yeah, there we go. Okay. I want to see what he can do because uh, I actually never played with him since I rainbowed him. I just rainbowed him like today because I saw how good the Extreme Z Awakening was and I was like, I have the spare physical orb. So might as well give it a shot. Let's see how much he can do. I know it's not going to be crazy since he is mainly support, but... Yo, Omega Shaman is showing up. Omega Shaman is like, yo, uh, <laughs> any any video that I'm in, I have to show out. Three million. Wow. Okay. Five thirty one k, and it's five hundred forty four k. Okay. Okay. You know what? Uh, that. Hmm. Let me think about this. Actually, yeah, he actually didn't have his passive off because right now, without the Extreme Z Awakening, he doesn't give any boost when you're below eighty percent HP, at which we were. We were below eighty percent HP at the time, so. Uh, he would would have hit harder. He would have had at least fifty percent more attack and also fifty percent more defense. But you know what? That's not bad. That that was that was okay. That actually was around where my expectations were. Of course, after his extremes, the awakening, his stats will be even higher. So he should be doing more damage there. Three point two million. Okay, freeze. I don't think freeze is gonna hit for less than unless it's type disadvantage. I don't think he's gonna hit for less than two million in this video. I'm gonna be straight up. Like I I think he's gonna every single turn unless we're facing type disadvantage like this. I think he's going to be hitting for something close to like 2 to 3 mil. And with crit, 4 mil, maybe 5 mil, something crazy happens. I don't know, but <laughs> this guy's just so good, man. So, so good. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I, I, the Extreme Z Awakening came out. I'm so happy I got it done as soon as it came out. And I, I just can't wait to play with him more, man. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be running Extreme Physical a lot more now, too. Um, even though... I mean, it's always really been one of my favorite categories. Seriously, it really has always been one of my favorite categories. So let's see if he can one-shot him here. That, that would be ideal. Let's, let's see what happens here. But Extreme Physical has always been one of my favorite categories. I just really haven't had much reason to run it. And did I say categories? No, 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 no. <laughs> extreme Physical is always one of my favorite teams. One of my favorite extre uh, Extreme teams. Um, 120 teams, that is. It's not category teams. I don't, I don't know how many times I said categories back then, but I meant Extreme physical or extreme team in general or like 120 team there's never really had a reason to run it back then because you know there's so many good category teams out there that do clear things faster but when i do have to run a 120 team like extreme physical generally is the one i go for the only reason i didn't run a line in the past because of course category teams and also it's hard to find a cooler friend man even with the new friend system with the new friend system just because you can filter people now doesn't mean that you can find the specific car um the specific lead if people don't run them right if people don't set them as their lead then you're still not gonna be able to run them you're still screwed if you want to look for something like a janemba or a super 17 a lot of times you won't find them simply because people just don't set their friend supporter as those characters so i was lucky enough to actually find a cooler friend with no issues for this showcase i'm very very thankful for that um and yeah we're, we're good to go but let me know in the comments what you guys like in terms of like categories or like soup 120 teams whatever what's your favorite team i think that's all i'm asking like what is your favorite team oh man another f over four mil attack 4.4 mil oh my god oh my god 
I, uh, do, what, what more can I say about this guy? We're gonna we're gonna probably run one more. Let's, let's just run one more event or one more stage. Kill Goku Black and call it a day. I'm gonna use some 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 nuking items, some like the Boro cookies and things like that, because I want to see some even crazier numbers. We've seen some crazy numbers. We've seen some crazy numbers so far, but I know we can take it to another level. Uh, can we? Not get a Dok- yeah, let's- oh, yo, okay, 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 this is a good opportunity. So, if we don't get a Dokkan attack off this turn, which we won't, because no one's getting their super off, we'll get a Dokkan attack off with Frieza next turn, and also pop a Tabura cookie, and it's just gonna be dumb, guys. It's gonna be so dumb, oh my god. I'm excited. I, I am legitimately excited right now. Come on. Just, just get this over with. I don't even care. I don't care. I just want to see what this can do. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, gonna put him, put him there. I'm going to pop the Debora cookie. Alright. Change. Hmm, okay. Mm, what if I try to Takoyaki? Will it change more to green, possibly? Uh, okay, that. Mm, okay. I, I don't know how these items work to be honest. Like <laughs> I don't know like what I'm gonna try another one. I, I just want I just wanna get as many Okay, you know what? That was more than before, right? That was that was that was like, that, that works. That works for me. Okay. I, I you know sometimes when I top, pop a cookie, like it changes the entire field. It changes the entire field to um to yellow, and that's kind of what I was wanting to go for with all the items, but it didn't really work out that way, so you know what? We tried. We tried. Okay. Focus. Focus, Tiger. Focus. Three, four, five, six. Yes. Got it. Came in clutch. Okay. Just gonna be quiet. Just gonna let it play out. Just let it do its thing. Frieza, show me a critical. Show me something crazy. I'll take that. I'll take that. 7,766,062 critical. A lot of crits, man. A lot, a lot of crits. It feels like certain characters just do more crits. Like, it doesn't really matter what level their um, critical goes up to in the hidden potential system or whatever. Like, it just feels like some characters benefit from, from certain hidden potential skills more than others. Like, you can't tell me, a lot of people who have LR, Vegito Blue, Rainbow, you can't tell me that it doesn't feel like he crits like every other turn, right? And some, some characters that have the same level of crit, crit it feels like they crit even less or like a lot less than Vegito Blue. At least in my experience, I know it could just be like a conspiracy theory, it could just be like bias, right? <laughs> but I feel like LR Vegito Blue just crits a crap ton and I feel like there's something built into the game system or in, in the game files where it's like, yo, certain characters might get more of a benefit from certain hidden potential skills. Yo, that's, that's just me, that's just me. Like, I'm not saying that's a thing. I'm not saying that you guys should, should believe it or, or, you know, believe this conspiracy that I have, but Yo, it just, it just feels that way. It feels that way sometimes. And I, yo, if you guys have been watching me for a while, I'm sure you've heard me talk about that a lot in these showcases. But I, I just like to put that out there once in a while. Do taking double digit damage, which I'm not surprised by. Double digit damage, of course, because he gets 30%. Oh, wow. He did a lot less damage there than I expected. A lot less damage. But you know what? He's tanking well still. Still tanking very well. Um, he took out super for 23k, I think. I think I saw 23k and um, taking the normal hits for double digit, so still monstrous, of course, cooler, absolutely amazing, one of my favorite 120 leads by far, probably just behind Ink Gogeta and SJ3 Go Tanks, um, and definitely, like, there's no question he is my favorite 120 lead for the extreme leads, so he's just, he's, he's great. Okay, let's just do one more, let's just, I, I, I just want to play with him a little bit more, I, I'll be honest, I mean, I'll be honest, like, we're, we're done with the showcase, there's really not much more to see, you guys can tell already that this guy is amazing, and if you, if you can, if you have him, then definitely fully Trumzy awaken him, man. Like, like put in the work, just, 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 you know, put your head down, do the grind, and it'll be all worth it, because he is just so good, so, so strong, guys. <laughs> there, yeah, I, I just want to play with him a little bit more. I, I just want to get through the stealth thing. And then we'll call it a day. How about that? It sounds good to you. Yo, if you guys are done here, you know, like you already saw what you needed to see, then you can, you know, leave the video. I, I won't be hurt by that. If you've made it this far, thank you very much. You've already, you know, watched more than probably most people have. But if you just want to stick around and chill for a bit and watch some more physical Frieza, full power Frieza domination, then stick around for some more because it's about to, it's about to get, it's about to go down, guys. It's about to go down. Okay. We got the boot again, and we got the you know rotation with him and Cooler. 
best rotation by far on this team, like I said. And it doesn't really matter what orbs we give him, as long as he gets the super off, he's good to go. Oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I, I want to see some more crits, I want to see some more big numbers. Come on, Frieza, show me something. 2.3 mil attack again, and 4.4 mil. Oh, so good, so good, guys. So good. Ooh. By the way, if you're watching this like really close to when I release it, Battlefield is only three days. Three days away from coming to global. I can't wait. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this for so long. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys are global players, let me know how excited you are for Battlefield. And of course, Tiger, your boy, is going to be streaming it and you know just, just running it all the way through no matter how long it takes me. I'm going to stay there and just run it until I'm done and get all those rewards and get all those um, those like purple gem things and hopefully I really really hope that they bring physical LR Goku or not Goku LR Ginyu to global because where where's he at man like global should have gotten him a long time ago but we never got Battlefield 1 so because of that we never got him so hopefully we get LR Ginyu when Battlefield comes to to global finally in three days and I'm gonna, I'm gonna ban in quest here, we're done, we're done. We, we, we've seen enough, we've seen enough, guys. We've seen enough. Like I said, like I said in the very beginning, promised that this guy was gonna be an absolute monster, and I think I delivered on that promise. I think he delivered on that promise, and if you guys have any doubt, or had any doubt about whether or not he was worth Extreme the Awakening, your doubts have been, what's the word? Dismissed. That was the word I was looking for. If you had any doubt about whether or not this guy was worth Extreme Z Awakening or whether or not he was good, your doubts have been dismissed after watching this showcase. But that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this absolute monster go to work. And as always, if you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all from me today. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>